Well, hi, everybody here on Google+. Plus. Uh, it's me, Scott Kelby, and I'm here to answer a question a lot of people are asking me about, which is how to make a pano across the top of your page like I have done here. So we do that in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to set up a template to make it much easier once you've done it one time. So there's little effort up front, then it gets much easier. So we're going to first start off by opening a high resolution, or in this case, a medium resolution uh, pano. And you don't have to use a pano, it just it does make it a little bit easier. But we're going to start off by going under the image menu right here to image size. And we're going to set the size. So the size is pretty important. It needs to be a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. And then your width needs to be 9.25 inches. So 9 and a quarter inches at 72 dpi, or excuse me, ppi is the right amount. Now, now you're going to create a new document. Go under the file menu and choose new and make your new document 134 pixels by 134 pixels and click OK. So you have this kind of empty square. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fill this empty square with a gray color. So click on your foreground color, choose some color gray, doesn't really matter what, and click OK. Now you're going to fill that with gray by pressing Option Delete on a Mac or it would be alt backspace on a PC. You're going to take this, which is the size of one of those little squares on G plus and drag it over on top of your other image and drag it all the way to the side. Okay. You don't need this document anymore. You can close it. Now what you're going to do is you're going to make five copies of this. So press command J on Mac or control J on PC to make a duplicate. Get the move tool and just hold the shift key so it drags perfectly sideways and drag it over until you see a little gap and then bring it back. There we go. So again, command J, get the move tool, hold the shift key and drag it to the right. On PC, control J, hold the shift key, move it to the right. And then one last one, command J, move it to the right. There we go. Do you have five across? All right, now, now that you have your five squares, you can see them over here in the layers panel. Hide all of those. You don't need to see them. Now, we're going to go to the background layer. Now, this is all setting this up to be a template, which is going to help us big time in just a minute. Right click on the background layer and choose convert to smart object. And you'll see why this matters in a minute. But if you do it now, it'll, it'll help you further down the road. So now our template is made. Let's go ahead and save this as a template. So let's just go save as, and we'll save it as, we'll call this G plus template. Well, let's call it G plus pano template, just in case we build other templates later. All right. So how do you, now that you have this template, how do you turn this into the five little squares that you need? What you do is you'll hold the command key on Mac or the control key on PC, and you're going to click directly on the thumbnail for layer one, the first square on your left. You're not actually going to change layers. You're just going to load it as a, as a selection. So on Mac, command click. On PC, control click. And look, see how it loads the selection over here? Now you're going to do this little move. You're going to copy. You're going to go to new, command N or control N on PC. And click OK. Creates a new blank document in the exact right size. Then you're going to hit paste. So it pastes that one little square in there. Then you're going to flatten or just merge down. Merge down is Command E on Mac or Control E on PC. That's it. Your first one's done. So basically you're going to copy, create a new document, paste, flatten, and save. So now we will just go and we'll call this one JPEG. All right. And then close it. So now from there on, it's pretty easy. Let's deselect. So here's the whole process again. Command click on Mac, control click on PC to load the second piece of your puzzle. Then you just go copy, new, OK, paste, merge down. Now, if you missed any of that, you're like, what, what, what did he just do? Back up the video just a little and you'll see. All right, here we go again. So this is 2JPEG. Then you go deselect and go to the third one. Command click. Copy, new, return, paste, merge down. <laughs> All right, you get, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> All right, deselect. Then go to the fourth one. 
Load that selection. Copy. New. See, when you, when you copy something into memory and then you hit new, Photoshop automatically knows the exact size of what you have copied into memory. So that's why when the new dialog box comes up, all you have to do is immediately hit OK. Then paste, then merge down, which is the same as flatten in this case because there's only one layer. This is our fourth. And then lastly, our fifth. So command click or control click to load that. Copy, new, paste, back. There we go and five all right so now you have your five pieces but how does this work as a template even though we have saved it as a template well let's say that you a week later like you let's say that you leave this pano up for a week or so which is kind of what i do then it gets old and you're ready to change it so what you do is let's go and open uh, another image let's go open uh, this pano i want to make another one. First step is resize it down to the size you want which is 72 dpi or ppi excuse me at 9.25 so get it to the right size now here's what you do go here to your background layer and right click from this right click you're going to choose replace contents it's going to bring up this thing and say what do you want to replace it with this just resized thing of banff and boom it puts it right in place and now you go through the whole process again now, you could write an action to do this if you wanted to. You could turn on Photoshop's basic built-in tape recorder and record those steps and do it that way. And it would work just as well. And it would certainly be easier than doing it the long way. But the good part, part of this is once you do set it up, now you've got a template and it's ready to roll. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little, my first specific to G Plus tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks.